G'day guys, my name's Alex and welcome back to another episode of Alex's Fishing. We're here with Noah and we're targeting brim on unweighted baits off the uh, footbridge in the Onka Paringa River. Um, our rods are a little bit overkill just because our original plan was to chase salmon off the surf beaches but we got onto a few brim in a last minute decision so stay tuned. Just cutting these up into bite sized pieces and don't be afraid to tear them up either because it looks natural. Oh. And this is pretty much imitating the bait we're using. So just, just an unweighted pilchard cube. Same thing we're using as burley. And they should all be waiting in that current. <laughs> Alright, so here's Noah just baiting up what we're using to catch these brim. So if you just put it through the top, there'll be a bone there. And that gives you some structure in the current so it holds holds the bait, just like that. Holds it quite firm so that it doesn't fall off and but Brim will just inhale that. Still get a good hook set. That's it. And we're literally just flopping it straight down and letting the current take it out. A few nice ones there. So Noah just flopped it about two metres away in that burly trail. About is he? Right there. Oh, I'm just dropping oh there's three. Just drop it in. Yep. Oh yeah, there's a nice one there. Three of them. There's a big kahuna there. I'm not going to be able to lift him if I cook. Kahuna. If I, cook, if I cook him, I'm not going to be able to lift him. Eat it, eat it, mate. You can see it. He'll eat it. Oh, I'm on, mate. And yeah, he's yeah, got he's it. Good. He's got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. And set it. Set it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm happy. How good is How good is it when you can see him? Yeah, they hey. didn't even, I, was, I was hearing you say, like, there's some there, I'm like, where? <laughs> <laughs> you got, is that, are they polarised? Yeah, man, yeah, these are, like, Do you reckon I can lift him, Alex? Yeah. yeah, yeah, what pound line? Six. Oh, that's easy. Do you get them on soft I mean, no, four, this is four. Yeah, yeah. Probably not these ones here, just because, oh, shit. That's a, oh, yeah, that's that's a good that's fish. Massive. <laughs> <laughs> Noah's just hooked up to this nice 30... 34 uh, centimetre brim, I've got a measuring reckon. tape, I'm going to measure him. I'm calling it for 34. I'm going to call it for 36. Because I'm feeling good. Alright. Isn't pilchard in that for bait, eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's not a bad fish, just off the yeah. Onka Pringa footbridge. Not a bad footbridge. fish at all. So, uh, how easy it can be, <laughs> as well. But yeah, sweet. What were you doing? I was just chucking the uh, unweighted with a bit of fluorocarbon leader, just a small suicide hook. You're not bad, are you? 34 on the dot. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. Right, man. There's Noah's bruising fish. 34 centimetres sight casted in crystal clear waters. Oh, a bit of a fish lap. Straight under the pylons. Nice Sweet. work, man. That is presentation on point. You've got one. No, no, that's not my bait. Oh. All my bait's sitting on the surface now. Come on, come on. That one's looking at it. Oh, no, he's just eating the full one. Yep. Oh. Now, you got him. <laughs> There's Noah hooked up again. And this one feels like a solid brim. I reckon it's salmon. Oh, you reckon it's salmon? No, it's a little brim. No, it's got a lot of curry in him. This is a 5,000 size salmon reel. Yeah. And it's peeling it off, no problem. We intended on chasing salmon this morning off Southport, but had no luck. And there he is. This little fella. Great fun for him. They fight so hard. And I like catching them because you just release them. Well, that's not a bad fish. He's gut hooked. So when they swallow it like that, you just want to cut the hook off. It's safer for the fish. Yeah, should rust out or the brim will just spit it out. There you go. Get it back. Try and get it as a nose dive as well. Back it goes. Ew. I'm going to use a circle hook now to try and prevent the gut hooks because it can hurt the fish but the circle hooks normally get them in the corner of the jaw, which is safer for the fish, and we get more hooks. I can't 
can't see my bait anymore because of the glare. So <laughs> just watch the line now. Just watching the line now. If it tightens at a fast rate, that means the fish has picked it up. You've got to take into account the wind as well. That's true, and the current. Yep. See that bow in the line? Keep an eye on that. Alright, one's got it. He's only small. And Noah's going to set it any second now. Remember, it's a circle hook. Right? Oh, yeah. Nice. Now, let's see if he's hooked in the corner of the door. Fish. Yep, the circle hook did the Beautiful. damage. Beautiful, just what they're made for. You can go fish and catch these. So yeah, perfect hook set. Look at that. Straight through. Just get a solid hook set. Got some munching teeth, the old brim. That's some big teeth you gotta be careful of. Oh yeah. It's open. Looks like a snapper with a bump on his head. Oh. Oh. Never get it straight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>